Hey guys, Kyle here with Gnarly Knives, and today I want to talk a little bit about axes. Well, more specifically, a couple axe projects, a recent one, and one for this weekend. So, just to start off, this is the axe project. Well, if you can see the fancy sheath I made from cardboard. This is only temporary, I promise. I do actually have all the leather stuff set out for it, I just haven't really gotten around to it. Oh, forgive my lighting. I think it's poltergeists, or just a really old bulb, most likely the latter. Alright, so this here you probably heard me talk about is a double bit axe that I put a handle on. This is a head, I got it off eBay, I believe it was $25 or $30. I think it was $25. I, I have another double bit kicking around up over in the corner, it was $30. Um, so basically what I did was this. So I got the head, and I ordered a huge, well... A large board of hickory it's a seven foot board six inches wide and I can get a ton of handles out of it and for the first one I wanted to make was this one I'll see if I can get, try to get the whole thing in the camera all right so what I have overall it's a 32 and a half inch handle uh, from the top of the head to the bottom of the palm swell um, this I probably all together have about 20 hours into this handle uh, might might be a really long time, but I only used hand tools, and it was my first time making it, making a handle. So, um, guessing the next that I do will hopefully not take quite as long. Um, but it actually has held up really well. The one, the, my main concern was just how well the head was seated on. Um, I, you know, was pretty confident putting it on that, you know, I was getting very good coverage because every time I would take the head off, I would be able to see how much. Um, surface contact it was making between the wood and the inside of the eye and it was actually getting extremely good coverage so my that was just you know kind of the ah, i never made one want to see how well it's held up and the handle has not come loose or the head rather has not come loose at all which i'm very happy to say uh the head on it i really don't know anything about it uh, it didn't come with any markings or anything to really distinguish even the seller the ad when I found it on eBay all it just said was old axe head so take that for what it is um, and we just lost our light and please forgive me I'm gonna go put the light back on sorry about that there we go that shouldn't be an issue now when you turn it off from the actual garage door opener it stays on or uh, whatever it doesn't matter um but so it really wasn't any information on it um but from what i could tell from you know a couple of axes i had sharpened beforehand this is definitely um high carbon and i'll get into that in a minute um but it has taken an edge very well um it was shaving sharp from you know the stones and everything now i have used it quite a bit on both sides I haven't chopped the tree down yet with it, uh, but messing around with uh, down logs, seasoned wood, and mostly just to test to see how well the head holds on to the handle. And so far, it is actually nice and tight. The head hasn't shifted at all, and I'm very happy with this. I'm actually really excited for the next axe handle that I make. Um, let me think. I'm uh, sorry. I just I just love looking at it and flipping it. Um, it just uh, it just feels so good in my hand. That's not really so much bragging. Oh, I did a good job. Just I made it to fit my hand. So it, you know, a couple of the other handles I've had to just kind of alter a little bit just to be more comfortable. And I was able to just make it to the size and everything for my hand. So you know, for some people it might be too big. For some it might be too small. You know, I do have large hands, but they're not the biggest hands in the world. So someone with larger hands, it might be a little small in some parts. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. And when it came to finishing the handle, of course, I did use the boiled linseed oil. Um, and I only went up, I only used 100 grit to sand it. So it's a little rougher than, you know, say you would get some other axe handles but i wanted it to be a little rougher i wanted really good grip on it and it has even started to smooth out a bit just from usage so i'm glad i stuck with the 100 grit and then i've given this i mean i'm still currently treating it um just to keep giving it several coats but as of right now where this is i'm probably at 
12 or 13 uh, coats of the linseed oil. Um, I don't really let it sit on like overnight or anything, but you know, because if anybody has used linseed oil before, especially, um, you know, you'll notice on the bottles, it just, when it dries, it just kind of congeals into like this kind of like tough gelatinous kind of substance and you really don't want that on the handle so what I would do is just I just put a heavy coating on let it sit 15 20 minutes wipe it off do it again and just keep going back and forth um, and that's basically the method I keep going and doing with this now like I said I'm gonna continue treating this whatever just I want it to soak up as much as much as possible and I've also you know obviously because I um, one thing I did do, this is actually something I learned from um, watching a lot of Wrangler Star videos, because uh, he's really what kind of inspired me, actually, his Sager Chemical Axe is what inspired kind of the design of this handle. So, Cody, if you are watching, thank you so much, man. I really I love your channel. <laughs> um, but one thing he talked about, I mean, I, I, I've watched other Axe videos and stuff, but he's the main that I've watched, and um, I've heard other people say the same, but I originally heard it from him, so he gets the credit. Uh, but about leaving the protrusion up over the head instead of cutting it flush. Um, and I have noticed too, I don't know how well you'll be able to really see on the camera. Uh, but you can see it is pushing out or mushroomed out on both sides. So it's almost like giving it, it's almost like a an additional wedge, if you will. Just because it's just mushroomed out over the top. So it just gives it that much more hold onto the handle and I you know provided the head doesn't come loose I, I really do see many years of using this without any issue hopefully um, and like I said I am going to be making a axe sheath I just want to really sit down and do it right there you know you get time a little bit here and there but it's not something I just want to rush out and stuff I really want to take my time with it because um, you know I've done a good amount of leather working but I'm not the best at it, you know, I mean, I, most of the stuff I've done with leather is really making knife sheaths, and I guess it's not so much different, but even my knife sheaths, I could definitely use improvement, it's just more practice, more practice and everything, but I just want to make sure I do a really, really good job with this. Um, other than that, um, oh, well, okay, getting with the quality of the steel, I was saying about, um, you know, so it is definitely, it, it has taken a really good edge and has held it. Um, I mean, it's not quite shaving anymore, but it is still very, very sharp. Um, but I do believe, it just from based off of, like I said, sharpening a few other axes um, with varying degrees of hardness or whatever, this is probably right in the middle. Uh, this definitely is not as hard as the Husqvarna Carpenter Axe, um, but I would say it's in between that and the Prandi hatchet that I have. And I absolutely love the Prandi I, I mean that thing is also hold a very very good edge. It was definitely a little bit easier, to, especially with the file, to put on the bevel that I want. But it's held it really well, so it's definitely between these those two. Um, and it was uh, the softest out of all of them was probably the Tomahawk, the 1055 from Cold Steel, and that is held up extremely well. And then there was another hatchet of my father's I sharpened that was probably in that Cold Steel, the Prandy range. Um, but another thing too, I know this, I do believe this to be very, very, um, legit actually is really wanted to go with that. It is definitely legit with how it was made. I just don't know who made it, when it was made. Um, but it is definitely a high carbon steel or a higher carbon. Um, the other day when I was just chopping up a little bit of wood with it, I overstrike or I overstruck. Does that make sense? I had an overstrike and didn't hit the handle luckily but it was more of a glance it was like I kind of overstrike and then glanced a bit and actually nicked the edge right into a rock oh my god but luckily I know someone who sharpens but when that happened though I would have rather it didn't happen um, it sent a huge shower of sparks like there were a lot of sparks that came out and you know, at least from what I understand with metal and stuff. I do have a little bit of a background with metal. I'm not just, I mean, I don't work with a professional or whatever, but I, you know, in high school, I did go to a tech high school. I did welding sheet metal, 
you know, with our classes with it, everything, with metallurgy and stuff. I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little. Um, not being serious. It, it, I know a little bit of what I'm talking about here. But also just with, uh, you know, research and just, you know, experience with other knives and steels and axes. Um, I do feel a lot better about this head. I kind of was a little, eh, with it when I was first, after I bought it and started doing more research. I just kind of felt like, oh, you know, maybe this might not be the greatest thing, but it's holding up really well, and I really can't say anything bad about it. And if I notice anything different, I will let you know, but since I don't know who made it or when it was made, eh, don't know really what I, how much that'll be helpful to you. But I'm really happy with how it came out. I do know some things I would do different next time that might help with the process a little more, uh, go by a little quicker, um, but also... Now having done it, I kind of have a better idea with maybe the order in which I want to do things. If that makes sense, but that's pretty much it there. I mean, I, I don't know. I just I love talking about this kind of stuff, and you know, the video is already getting into 11 minutes. I want to try and keep this under 20 because I feel bad. I know my videos do go on and on. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this back in a little makeshift sheath for the moment, um, but. The other axe I do want to talk about, I actually have right beside me, is I mentioned in uh, my previous video about a, a little axe project I want to do this weekend. Now, I'm not planning on doing a handle on it, at least not now. I want to try to, you know, restore.